I've been getting a lot of questions from you asking about what the salary is for a structural engineer. So I did some research and not only did I find the average salary, but I was able to find how what the salary is for how you progress throughout the years and the type of positions, uh, what type of pay you can expect from being an entry level to more of the senior type of engineers. The data that I'm gonna be going through is the SE3 project. SE3 stands for the Structural Engineering engagement and equity. They have the survey and a pay report that I'll link down in the descriptions below. In the SE3 project, they basically surveyed and asked 2000 plus structural engineers from all over the US. And one of these things that they asked them about was their, uh, their salaries and their pay scale. So that's what we'll be going over right now. This figure right here shows the income by position. So as a staff or an entry level, engineer you can be expected to be paid around a salary of 65,000 uh, this is in the US same thing with the project engineer you get bumped up to around 75 and senior engineer 95 etc what you can really see is uh, you get a really big bump in your pay raise you know once you get to the senior level and the associate uh, shareholder level and a really big pay raise once you get to the principal or owner level around 165k uh, per year. This next graph shows pay by how, how many years you've been in the industry. So from zero to five years, uh, you can expect to get paid around 67k. Uh, for the next six to 10 years, 85k. And 11 to, to 15 years, you'll most likely get and be you'll most likely be getting paid uh, over 100K. And as you can see here, it's pretty linear. Pretty much the longer that you stay in the industry, the more you'll get paid. So if you average everything out, the SE3 survey says that the average income of a structural engineer with five years of experience is $78,900 per year. In California, that's actually gonna average out to $89,000 per year. And the average income of a structural engineer with 15 years of experience is $110,600 per year. And in California, that goes up to $118,700 per year. Again, there's a lot more information in their actual full report and their survey results. So I'll, again, it's, I'll link to the SE3 survey below in the description. So we just saw the salary results. The big question is, are you satisfied being a structural engineer? And this was actually one of the questions that they, they gave out. And as you can see here, they actually saw that 81% of the structural engineers that they surveyed were pretty satisfied. Um, there were some that were pretty dissatisfied and they even got some of the reasons why they were. And that was actually not because of the profession and the work they do, but because of project management and the leadership that they were in. So that kind of just shows the importance of also learning project management skills. And it's not just about the engineering. So what do I think about this? Do I think we're underpaid? Well, yeah, I think we are. I mean, I'm grateful for the salary that we get, that we have. And, you know, we got a profession that a lot of people are satisfied with that. I'm satisfied with the work I do, but for all the schooling, for the master's degrees, the, uh, the liability that we take, I think my opinion is that we should be paid more. But look, <laughs> it's, it's the industry's fault. It's our fault. We're the ones that are setting the terms for the contract. We're agreeing how much uh, we want to get paid. And to me, it makes sense. You know, we go to school, all we learn about is all the technical stuff. Um, we learn about structural analysis and it's, it's very important that lays the foundation for our career and our technical skills, but we don't have any training for the most part in, in business, how to negotiate, how businesses run, and it, it does hurt us. Most of the structural engineers that I talk to, you know, we go in it to, to do good work, to design buildings, to leave an impact in the world. And you know, most of us, we don't usually go in it for the money. We do, but it's not like our number one thing. And by the way, if you went into structural engineering because you thought uh, you, you were gonna get paid the most, uh, no, that's not, 
that's not how this works. I mean, if money was your number one thing, there's a lot of other professions out there that get paid a, a lot more and that you can make your money in a more efficient way. And I'm sure you know that you could go into investment banking, you could become a doctor, you could become a lawyer. But, I mean, you know, for most people that I talk to, they know those options are out there, but there was something that drew them into structural engineering. You know, as a new engineer, it's kind of tough because you're just going from school and then you get thrust into basically the business world. Well, you, you'll be dealing with a lot of people that have, have been trained in, in these skills like negotiation. You know, some of their jobs are just pure profit. Hey, their number one goal is to make their company money. This might be in the architectural side, the contractor side, the owner side. You'll be dealing with these types of people and we are at a disadvantage because, you know, they know how to negotiate, they know how deals work, uh, they know how leverage works, and as a structural engineer, we're kind of uh, uneducated in that. So yes, of course, we're gonna be, when it comes to money, we're gonna be at a disadvantage. So it is up to us to train ourselves to ask the right questions, especially when you're, when you're young, you know, ask about how the business works, ask where this client came from, what does the client want, how does the, the firm, whatever firm that you're working for, how do they make money? Ask about the budget of the project that you're working in, your billability rate, especially as a young engineer, you may not know all this, and they may not tell you, but you could always ask, you could just show your curiosity for it. And just learning about money in general, you know, just taking a look at your paycheck, seeing where all that money's going, some of it's going to taxes, you know, going to government. Are you putting any money in your 401k? Are you using a uh, Roth IRA? And especially in structural engineering, you can even learn about um, more about investment, especially real estate investment, since we're pretty much closely linked to to that industry as well. And that's something that you might want to get into later. For me, one of the mistakes that I had was basically not being comfortable with money. You know, straight out of uh, college and then going into the industry you know I I'd, I'd be looking at big sums of money like tens of thousands of dollars even hundreds of thousands of dollars and it's one thing to take a look at that but it's another thing if you're let's say you're writing a proposal and you're giving it to the client and you're basically asking them for tens of thousands of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars and you're just not used to holding or asking for that much amount of money but get used to it because you have to know your worth as a structural engineer. So look, for me, money's not everything, but it's very, very important. And I think as a structural engineer, you need to get used to that. You know, don't be ashamed of talking about money or asking for money. Uh, you should know your worth as a structural engineer, know your value, and also importantly, communicate your value because obviously we're getting paid by, uh, mostly by, uh, that our clients, the ones that have the money that are paying us. And if we can't communicate our value to them, then that's our fault. We're not communicating our value and we're not going to get paid our value. And growing up, you may have heard the sayings and you probably have, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. Money is the root of all evil. Well, you can't think that way. Money to me is an amplifier. If you're a bad person, yes, you can do some pretty bad stuff. But if you're a good person, which I think most structural engineers are, there's a lot more good that we could do if we had more money. But it is up to us to, to change that. If structural engineers made more money, I think we'd put a lot more into research and and even professional organizations. But you know, it'll, it would allow us to better help people. I think that's the thing. I think if structural engineers made more money, we'd, we'd end up helping people, helping um, our communities and helping our families and, and provide for them. But what do I know? I'm just a guy on YouTube. <laughs> but if you actually do want to know from someone that's actually a millionaire and he's a structural engineer, uh, his name is Ashraf. If you don't know him, he y you do somehow because you probably use his software. He's the CEO of CSI and uh, you know, I went to one of his events or he was speaking at an event and that's when I kind of got inspired by him to to make this YouTube channel. So he was definitely one of my inspirations. I'll link to one of his videos below where he talks about money and kind of what this topic is on, are we paid enough as a structural engineering industry? Wait, before you go, I do want to say thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my videos also. We've reached, uh, I think around 7,000, probably over 7,000 subscribers. And 
uh, it's just been overwhelming and I'm so grateful and thankful for, for you guys. Um, I've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of messages. I can't respond to all of them right now, but I do read each and every single one of them. And it's really great to see that I'm helping you out. And it, it really truly is a privilege for me and it's very humbling. So thank you for that. Check out my podcast below in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you know any structural engineers that they could benefit from this channel, please share it with them. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.